Hey everybody, this is Daryl, a.k.a. The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast, and today I've got another of my Midtown comic orders. Again, I think I'm still a week and a half behind, two weeks, something like that, I don't know. I know another one has been shipped, so you'll see when that arrives, too. And again, I, I've contacted them, and I would like to know... You know, what is actually causing the problem? Is it them? Is it uh, the distributors getting them the books? And all I hear is we're behind and we're going to, we're doing our best to catch up. And I'm just like, I would like to, I mean, like I say, I, I don't know. It's very frustrating because if it's um, someone else, like if it's uh, what Diamond, then, you know, I, I can't blame them. But if it's not Diamond, if it's Midtown themselves, yeah, then, um, I don't know. I don't know. As of right now, I'm still sticking with them, but I don't know how much longer. <laughs> I've looked and I just can't find anybody that has really comparable service. So that's kind of a, an issue that I'm having as well. I like that they uh, give me... Um, uh, bags and boards with everything so that's always good and in the last couple times I believe they have not even included an invoice which is really really odd to me that they're not including an invoice with the the product now so kind of not a fan of that I would like to at least get an invoice so I kind of kind of know what you're getting well let me rephrase that you know what you're supposed to get and then you can like now when I get these, I have to go back to see what I ordered to see if they match up. So there you go. You know, it's not a huge deal, but it's still, it's one little less reason that um, I'm liking Midtown. But anyway, enough of the ramble. Let's get to the books. We start off with this amazing Lobo cover. That is awesome. Let's see. That is from Teen Titans, number 32. That is a great cover. The uh, Villain of the Year covers, which, that's a villain to me. Uh, when you have Harley Quinn and her villain is Harley Quinn, it's like, that doesn't make sense. So you're going against yourself. You know, I don't, not a fan of that. Not a fan when they do that. All right, let's see what this one is. All right, because what they do is, uh, well, the barcodes on the back, they uh, put it in the bag backwards so they can scan it quicker. Apparently not very quick. <laughs> uh, we got uh, Animosity, number 2022. 20, Man, this uh, series is, is uh, running along pretty quick. I'm still liking it. I'm hearing a lot of people. Uh, they quit getting it a while back, but I, I'm still liking this, this story. Uh, very, very good story to me. But like I say, to each their own. Again, I'm digging it. Love this cover. Had to get this awesome, awesome cover. Uh, Uncanny X-Men. This is the uh, Carnageized cover for issue 22. It is the B cover. I thought that looked amazing. Uh, Emma Frost on there. That to me is awesome. Great looking cover. Very few of these will I pick up, but I saw that. I was like, yeah, that's that's a great cover. There we go. Had to get that cover. Nice, nice, nice. Batman. We're up to number 75. Wow. Uh, City of Bane. This is the A cover. There we go. Awesome, awesome cover. And I would tell you guys who did. Oh, let's see. Um, Tony Daniel did this cover. I like being able to tell you guys uh, who did all the covers and everything. So, uh, if it's an artist you might like, or if you've never seen before, you see the art, you go, hey, I like that art. Let me see what I can find of that artist. There we go. Uh, still uh, Tom King uh, doing those books. And this amazing. Year of the Villain cover, Bane. That is a great looking cover. 
There we go. And I was going to tell you who did the cover, but I don't see it on here. Let's see if maybe they put it uh, inside the cover. And I also like the, the Villain of the Year covers, that they put them on a, a, a tougher uh, uh, stocked cover. Shazam! Let's see, is it in the back? Oh, okay, okay. That's a Del Auto cover. Gabriel Del Auto. Del Auto. I say it as one word, Del Auto. It's Del Auto. There you go. Awesome, awesome main cover. That is great. Issue 75 right there. And let's see what's going on with this issue. Let's see here. Oh, I remember ordering this one. This is the Adam Hughes variant for Vampirella. Great cover. Uh, Vampirella, uh, look at her. She doesn't look it, but she is now 50. 50 years old. She doesn't look 50, but... The Vamp has turned 50. Awesome, awesome Adam Hughes cover. Now I saw this, I was like, yep, got to get that one. Uh, this one was uh, more than your uh, regular cover. I can't remember how much it was because I don't have an invoice. But I, I, I just had to get that. That Adam Hughes goodness. I would love to get this signed and have him sign it right here. Like That would be great. So hopefully maybe uh, next year if I'm in San Diego, I can possibly get that signed by him. Uh, Giant Size X-Men. This is um, uh, the facsimile edition because I cannot find the regular one for a price that I can afford. So I find this finally. I can re well, actually, I have read it. I can read it again. Uh, great story. Uh, this team getting together, then issue uh, 94 is when they make their first appearance in the actual line of uh, X-Men comics. When they go from X-Men to Uncanny X-Men. So this is the Uncanny X-Men when they first team together. So Giant Size X-Men number one. Definitely a book on my list. I, gosh, it's going to cost way too much to get there. But someday. Someday I will get that. And last on the list, Robin Hood Outlaw number six. I uh, love this cover. I, I don't know who did the cover because, again, I don't have an invoice. This is the, what, B cover? Uh, the C cover on there. There we go. I, and every time I go to a show, when the good people of Zenoscope are there, I always go over and talk to them and... Uh, they have some amazing statues that are, are really hard to get. Um, I did get the Robin Hood statue that was part of their Kickstarter. Uh, they also have one of Sela that I would like to get. So hopefully before long I'll get that statue as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so that's my small comic book haul for this week. Uh, hopefully Midtown is starting to catch back up. Because I know uh, they sent... Three shipments off within a week. Uh, this is the second one. I have another one. Should be coming soon. So hopefully they're starting to catch up a little bit. I'm sure it's really difficult when you have people from all over the world uh, putting in orders. I know at least all over America putting in orders. Because I know people from many places that have been putting in orders. Because unfortunately uh, so many LCSs have been shutting down the last few years. Makes me so sad because we had... Uh, two here locally shut down within about a year of each other, which really surprised me. I figured if one shut down, then the, everybody go to the other one and business would pick up. But apparently people are kind of cutting back. So, but anyway, enough yada, yada, yada. <laughs> but uh, that's all I got. And you guys have an incredible day.